that's a number that's so big we can hardly think of. I think right, a billion is 10 to the ninth or something like that. I'm not sure. Eight, ninth. So 39th and each time is 10 times higher, 10 times higher than that, 10 times higher. It's huge. So this is really powerful. That means that proton and electron, and we, you know, and think about it. In our body, we're full of electrons and protons. We have 75 trillion cells in our body, and it's made up of who knows how many electrons and protons. I mean, it's made up of atoms, and those atoms have many, many, some of them have many, many uh, protons and electrons, each one. So it's just a huge, huge number, all right? And that's the power that's inside of our body. Now, this is important because have you ever heard anyone say that we have unlimited power, that we can make anything happen? Uh, have you ever heard that? I've heard that many times, and for a long time I believed it intellectually, and yet I, I, I wasn't really able to make it work in my life. Um, and so it was like, yeah, it's true. However, I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. You know, like that. Does that sound familiar to you? Well, these electrons, even though the power is 10 to the 39th power stronger than trying to lift a, a truck off the ground, come off. And they're ions. <laughs> I mean, it's that simple. So there's something more powerful in us that will allow those to separate. And water is one of them. We're 70% water. If you put uh, sodium chloride, that's salt, in water, it'll separate in the water. The water is very powerful. So you have inside of you the tool already to make electrons come off of the protons. That's pretty incredible. Plus our thoughts. You know, I think Deepak Chopra wrote a book years ago when he was talking about how our thoughts create peptides, and then those peptides are sent to, into our organs where there are receptors for those peptides. And in fact, you know, so if we have a, a mood, sad mood, it sends peptides to our organs to be sad. You know, if we're angry, it, it creates peptides to be angry that go to our receptors. So we have this power inside of us that is extraordinarily powerful. So now I'm thinking, wow, I'm a lot more powerful than I thought. So that statement makes is starting to make more sense. Now, here's the next part. And um, I'm going to reach over here and grab an apple. I want to show you something. <clears throat> All right. You see this apple? It's It's got what they call the shape of a toroid. And a toroid, you know, it's like quickly if you cut it in half and opened it up, you would see that kind of ear shape on either side, right? And that's a toroidal shape. And it turns out that there's an energy field that's toroidal that comes out of the apple and goes around in the apple. And that's actually true for every everything. For all fruits, all vegetables, everything has a toroidal energy. The planet has that. And our protons and our electrons have that. They have a toroidal energy that comes off of them. So. So now we're laying the groundwork for this. And what I'd like to do before we get to the third part is to do a little exercise so that you can experience this for yourself. And I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, um, if you, I should, let me stop here. I'm the inventor of this uh, Whirling Bliss machine. So you can stop the video and go get it because you can use that for a moment if you have one. If not, you can still do this. What this will do is enable you to maintain what you're feeling even longer. Um, and it's interesting because this has a toroidal shape to it as well. You can see it's kind of, I don't know how well you can see, it's kind of smooth, you know, curved here on the edges. And I used to make them on both sides around like that. Um, I make them by hand. And it, it wasn't practical to make them on both sides. Um, but anyway, that has a toroidal shape to it already. So. Go ahead and go get it. Let's turn off the video if you need to go get it. And and then turn it back on and, and you won't miss a thing. So this uh, generates uh, toroidal energy. And so if you have it, you use it like this. You know, get it real close to yourself. And also it's touching like that. And that will help your physical body to generate more toroids going. And so that's like a benefit. That's like a plus. But anyway... Um, so whether you have it or not, what I'd like you to do is to close your eyelids and we're going to imagine that you have an apple or a peach or a lemon. You pick the fruit that you want and I want you to take a bite out of it. 
or score with the, if it's 11, maybe you want to squirt it in your mouth. And notice, while you're doing that, the flavor, the texture, or whatever else you feel. I think with lemons, maybe you feel it, can feel it in the back of your throat. Um, right? Now, you're not actually eating an apple or a lemon or, or a peach, but you can sense that. That's the power of your creative imagination. And that's showing you how your intention can create. And you may even have increased saliva in your mouth right now, particularly if it's a lemon. Uh, you could feel that saliva coming up to, to kind of get that tartness, right? To, to meet the tartness, right? So that's the power you have. We were talking about the intention of, you, you know, for changing uh, peptides. So if we feel sad, we'll create peptides that create sadness. And you just create peptides in your brain to generate those, those feelings with your creative imagination. And if, and if you weren't able to do it, it's just because you're not, you're not using your creative imagination enough. So just work on that. So now we've got three things that are working for us. We have 10 to the 39th power, which uh, if you're not familiar, by the way, I talk about that in this book I wrote, No Pain, Only Gain. Um, how to become a trillionaire, and this, the technique that's in this book, and there's a question in this book that you're going to love, enabled me to turn Hurricane Michael into the best vacation of my life. So if you want to find out more, it's four ninety nine there, I think. Um, you can do that, and so, so we got the ten to the thirty ninth. We know about the toroids, so now you understand that when you're eating this, what you can do, or imagining that you're eating it, because you don't have to actually eat something. You can do it while you're eating or while you're not eating. Imagine the toroid in that apple, or the toroid in that lemon or that peach. You got that? Good. Now, now comes the real deal. And the real deal is one proton of that apple, peach, whatever it is, send it your gratitude. My uh, Meister Eckhart lived several hundred or a few hundred years ago, several hundred years ago. He said, if you only say one prayer, say thank you. All right, so now what are you doing? You're, you've got that intention that makes the peptides. It's going to that toroid. And the reason this is so useful is, is that the more accurate your understanding of what it is that's what makes us up you're cooperating with what is with the way that we're designed all right so we've, we've got a clearer clearer image the more the more crystal clear we can get that image going the stronger it is that we can make these intentions there and there's books and videotapes and classes and all that stuff on that stuff but just check it out see if that isn't true for you uh, by the way if I use any words here that are uh, you know not the words that you would normally use. You know, if I say God and you prefer Yahweh or you prefer uh, Jehovah or whatever, just go ahead and put that, those words in there for yourself. And um, because I want this to work for you and I don't, I don't want to, uh, you know, try to enforce anything on you. It's like if you go to certain parts of the country and you say you want a soda, they'll get you a soft drink. And in other parts of the country, you got to ask for a pop, and they bring you a soft drink. All the words are the same. And so we have a lot of words for the higher power. Uh, you know, like Handel's Messiah, Counselor, Almighty God, da 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 all those things, right? Because it's the greatness of it has more names. And so we can pick whichever ones we want. So uh, anyway, and, and I want you, when you do this, I want to say this too before I forget. I want you to do this better than I do it. And here's why. I used to be a massage therapist, and I was very good at it. In fact, I massaged Leonard Bernstein two or three times, and uh, also John Marcheri, who was the director, I think, of the Hollywood Bowl uh, Orchestra, uh, not orchestra, but symphony orchestra. And Leonard Bernstein said I was the man with the magic hands, and John Marcheri said I was the best in Washington. And, now, and every person, except one person I ever massaged, says I was the best they ever best massage therapist that they ever had, if they said anything at all. Um, 
The one guy who didn't want to get undressed said I wasn't as good as someone else. Well, that tells you he wasn't, you know, he was at a level that he wanted a different kind of level than I had. I work, you know, people don't have their clothes on so I can massage and reach all the muscles. Um, so anyway, but the way that I took that information in is that, oh man, I wish there was somebody as good as me so I could get as good of a massage as I give. So I turned it against myself. And what we're doing now, though, is I want you to be even better. Anyone who's listening to this, you, you, to be better than me so that regardless of where I go, that my experiences are always, wow, wow, I'm in awe. This is so fantastic. It's like if you're watching one of those TV shows or a new show and they do, somebody does something that's just unbelievable, you know, and you go, oh, my God. Well, that's what I want everyone to be like that. I want to walk around all day long going, wow, you are so fantastic. <clears throat> all right. So now we've got what we want to do. Remember, Meister Eckhart said to say thank you. So we want to say thank you to that, to that lemon, to that apple, the proton. One of the protons, just one in there with that 10th to the 39th power. And we're going to put gratitude on it. And you know how um, in fission, you know, if you want to want to make a bomb, you can split the atom, split the protons from the other protons, and you get a destructive force. It's a chain reaction. But when it comes to <clears throat> gratitude, gratitude is a form of love. When you love somebody, you give them your love. You still have the love that you gave them. And it multiplies so it's not just two, <clears throat> it becomes ten and a hundred. And so when you put your gratitude and love into that proton, regardless of what moment it is, if you just had the worst experience, if you just got a letter from the IRS, if your spouse said they want to leave you, if, if there's been a, if a family member involved in a car accident, it doesn't matter. Because you're going to deal with that, but you might as well deal with it from a place of gratitude, a 10th to the 39th power. And there's a book, it's called uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And I've never read the actual book, but I've heard enough about it. And it talks about the scene, there's a long story, a involved thing about a computer. And they want to know the, the secret to life or the answer to life or what, what's the bottom line, what's the, what's the ultimate thing. And the computer works on it, works on it, works on it, and it spits out this thing, and they pick, take it out, and it says 42. <laughs> it's very funny. So, but maybe, maybe the answer to life isn't 42. Maybe it's 1039. It's like going in a hotel, you know, where I'm, <clears throat> we get a room on the 10th floor, and we walk down the hall, and we get to room 39, 1039, and that's our room. Now, we can stay there in the hallway with our luggage, or we can open the door and go inside. You see, because this, everything I've been talking to you about is all physical level, isn't it? Because we've been talking about actual protons and electrons. And so now you're going to put the, you know, flash the card, use the key, whatever, and open the door. Now this door, it opens towards you, not away from you. And why is that? Because when you think about relationships, if you push yourself towards people, what do they do? They resist. So in this case, you're going to open the door towards you and invite them in. Well, when you open this door, you're opening the door to a level that's be starting to be the begin, you know, beyond the physical level. And that is like being on an ocean ship and looking out and seeing the ocean as far as you can see. And it's so majestic. And, it, and that's just the beginning. So what we've done is we've decided to take that step to, to go 10 to the 39th power. So for those of you like myself who, who believe in a higher power, believe in what I would call God or Christ consciousness or whatever you want to call it, that's out there. If you don't believe in any of this or you're agnostic, I invite you just to open the door and take a look and see what you see. 
and allow that to work for you in the best way possible. Always, you always want to be in cooperation with what is. So whatever you discover to be true, allow that to be a part of you. So, um, oh, by the way, I should mention to you that I'm also the author of, might as well, I'm also the author of this book. I don't know why I'm pushing that. But, um, and it, it was number one on Amazon out of 10 million titles. And so this is some of the things I do. And if you go to the links that are wherever they are on the screen or below, you know, you can just be reading my blog. I put a lot of interesting information out there. You, what you've heard here is like the tip of the iceberg. It's 10 to the 1th. <laughs> so, and oh, if you want, if you really like this, and you say, gosh, I want to help Kelly do more and more, rather than donating money to me, I invite you to go to my website or to get my book. Where did I put that other book? You know, I, oh, it's way over there. Uh, you know, no Pain, Only Gain, How to Become a Trillionaire. It's $4.99. And I want you to, to order my products because the reason is, is that all my products will help you a hundredfold. And they'll help me a hundredfold by them helping you a hundredfold. My goal in this world is to increase the world's bliss by 25%. And we do that by increasing yours a thousand percent. And once we reach either of those goals, we'll just redo the goal to 50% or 2,000%. And we'll just keep on going. And, and these aid you physically so that in that one second, you know, there's one ex second exercise of you um, noticing the proton, the toroidal proton, and being grateful about it. For that second, you're going to notice it. And what this will do is to help you maintain that physically for the other 59 seconds so that your body can handle it. Because, you know, if we don't feel so great, it's more of a challenge. And, and this technique I'm showing you will work. It'll... It'll work even if you don't have this. It just makes it it's, it's, makes it easier. So, well, listen, thank you for listening. And I'm so happy that you were here to hear this. And um, I think I've covered just about everything that I can think of at the moment. But, um, yeah, you know, so if you wanted to donate a large amount of money, just order a lot of these things and, and give them out. You know, order lots of the bliss discs. I have bliss discers that you place that if I, I ate an egg that had bliss discs on it that was in the refrigerator for 17 days with no electricity, or 12 days, 12 days with no electricity after the hurricane. And it had been in the refrigerator for a year. And I, I made videos of me eating those eggs <laughs> because of the bliss discs. But I'll explain that another time. But anyway, these things are really beneficial. They help you to maintain and, you know, even my ability to speak, I, I, before I made these inventions and came up with these things, I would pause every two words because my brain wasn't firing right. And I've got bliss discs in the hat here. And um, so, you know, and I've got some in my pockets. And they're wonderful. So anyway, I, that's enough. <laughs> Gosh, it's so exciting to know this is going out. And, and we're going to have, have a golden age. And it's going to take you a second. It's an easy button of one second one proton. That proton will have a chain reaction to all the protons, and that one proton, being 10 to the 39th power stronger, is more than all the people on the planet. All of them. And they're going to be loving you because you're giving love to the proton inside of you. And your life is going to be glorious, glorious, glorious. You take care. Now, this doesn't mean that there aren't challenges. Of course there are challenges. That's what, you know, we have a physical body. And so, but this enables you to get through that and accelerate and accelerate and accelerate. It's fantastic. Well, once again, you take care and God bless.